So in the original Create tutorial that I posted, it was only a Mac installation. Now, some of you have reached out through Discord in the comments asking about some of the specifics for Windows installation. Originally, I thought that you only needed Brew to install Git, but once I looked into it, after you guys asked me, I saw that there's a few other discrepancies of the things you need to install in order to get Create to run on Windows. So today, I'm going to be working on doing a tutorial that's Windows oriented. But unfortunately, there was a power outage and my hotspot ran out. So right now, I'm with no power, this light that you see is just the lighting on my face from the laptop. So I'm just going to give you a brief overview of the things that I think you can install in order to get started on running Cray-I on your machine. But either way, I'm going to do a more detailed full walkthrough. But this is just to start giving you an overview in case you want to get started on the things you need in order to run this in your crew machine. So first thing that you're going to need is you're going to need to install Python. I'm going to leave this document in the description. So you click the link, all you have to do is click download Python and it's going to take you to the installer of, you know, just the things you need. You don't need to change anything specific. You can leave it in the default settings. After this, you do need to install, install Scoop. So it's just an installer on your machine that lets you install things through the command line interface. So rather than having to go to pages to install things with Scoop, you'll be able to just type in the link of whatever you're trying to install and install it. And the reason why you need Scoop is so that you can install PipX on your machine. So once you install Scoop, you're gonna you can go ahead and run the command on your terminal. And this is the command you're gonna run. It's gonna be Scoop install PipX. And what I mean on your terminal is you're just gonna open Windows PowerShell. You can type this in and press enter. The way you find Windows PowerShell on your machine is just you can go to search, type PowerShell. When you start it up, you're gonna get a window like this. And like I mentioned earlier, all you have to do is type this in. You don't even have to type it. You can copy paste it. And it'll run. I already have it installed, so I don't think it will run it. And my internet is super, super slow, so I don't want to deal with that right now. After you run that command, you can do pipx ensure path. That's just to make sure that pipx is accessible. After this, you're going to go ahead and click, or you're going to go ahead and run the command pipx install poetry. And when I say run the command, again, just to emphasize, these are things you're going to copy and paste on your terminal and run them in order to install this on your machine. For step five, you're going to download Git. Now, you can also just go to the Git website and you can get from there. It's going to look something like this and you just select the Windows version that you have. If you have a 32-bit or a 64-bit. Now, the way you can check which version you need, you can just go... Access control panel, I believe. So here we see system type. 64-bit operating ARM-based processor. So for me, I had to do a 64-bit, right? Yours is probably 64-bit, but just in case, you can double check like that. And that's pretty much gonna be the main thing I want you to focus on for now. Again, if this was a little too sped up, or maybe, you know, you still don't feel comfortable, you want a little more thorough tutorial, I will be uploading that. But again, just because of the internet outage at the moment, I can't really work on that or work to record that and then upload it, but just because there has been a lot of support in the channel and in the Discord, I didn't want to leave you guys hanging. I know you're all excited to install Korea, to make things with Korea. So I want to make sure that everybody can keep up and can stay up to pace with all the tutorials that we keep doing, whether you're on Windows or whether you're on Mac. I should have probably thought about that a little bit earlier before I did, you know, before I just focused on doing it Mac-based. Mac but again, I do appreciate those of you that reached out and asked. Again, this is going to be coming soon. And just to get everybody up to speed, if you have any other questions, the best, way, the best way you can reach me directly is through Discord or the Facebook group. And also I have the link in the description for you to book a one-on-one -on -one with me completely free. Any questions you may have about AI, about crew AI, anything like that, or just about you know how you can get started on technology, more than happy to help out. Again, sorry about the poor lighting, the poor audio, and the short video, but I'll be working on those coming up soon. And I'll see you in the next one.